everyone thank you for watching Wikipedia world videos so this is the part 2 video of transaction PFCG okay so this is the first topic uh, changing and assigning roles okay so we have learned that we can do four types of activities changing and assigning roles creating roles creating composite roles and uh, transporting and distributing roles in PFCG so this is the first type of activity which we perform in pfcg change and assign a role so now go to transaction pfcg enter the name of the delivered standard role in the role field so this is how the initial screen looks up okay for P in pfcg role maintenance so uh, here you change and assign the role okay so whatever role you want to change and assign you enter it there okay and you see copy the standard role by choosing copy role and enter a name from from the customer namespace okay so uh, you go to this copy option and you give a new role name okay here do not change the delivered standard roles sap underscore but rather only the copies of these roles z underscore otherwise the standard rules that you have modified will be overwritten by newly delivered standard roles during a later upgrade or release change so one should make sure that when they you know change the roles whatever role this role you want to change okay so you first you copy it you the new role name you have to give as z starting with z or y whatever it depends on what type of uh, you know naming convention you have in your project okay so but generally they start with z okay so the, the standard roles from sap they are delivered with sap underscore like sap star user didic user okay the tms user so they have the roles which start with sap underscore so these are delivered from sap please don't change them okay so you will face problems later when you do an upgrade or a, uh, a release upgrade or when you do uh, whatever it is when you apply the support stacks okay so that's why just go ahead and create the new role starting with the z okay so you go to copy all option now choose the change the new name is in the role field so like the role has been copied now now you go to change you can change the user menu on the menu tab page you can reduce extend or restructure it so in this menu okay so this menu tab page if you go there after user logs on like what is the user menu he has to get so that is that can be changed here okay so you can uh, whatever you want you can do those changes here now the important one is this authorization tab so you to, you go to this authorization tab and you say change authorization data so that's what you wanted to change in your role right generally you will change the user menu or the authorizations or the users to which the role is assigned so you go to change authorization data now this is how the screen is presented you see the maintain the authorization field values as required to adjust the authorizations for the menu changes choose the profile generation expert mode push button on the authorization tab and then read old version and adjust to new data you know so once you go to this authorization tab and you say change authorization data so this is how the screen is presented so here you have to make changes to whatever authorizations you want to change see these are all uh, document management financial accounting so these are all the authorization objects maintained customer okay account authorizations for sales area okay so these are the objects in the authorizations and this is the type of activity which has to be performed on that object okay so you modify you can delete certain authorization objects or you can modify the activity which you want to perform on that authorization object also okay so here you have given star okay so you are authorized to do all activities on that object or you can say read write or whatever uh, activities permitted on that particular object okay and now the other important thing is to adjust the authorizations for menu changes okay you you choose profile generation you go to profile generation expert mode push button in the screen okay uh, and then uh, here okay profile generation expert mode export mode for profile generation this one okay that option and then you say read old version and adjust to new data 
okay so you say like read old version and adjust to new data okay so if you have made any menu changes here you uh, you have to also go here apart from this change authorization data you have to export mode for profile generation there you have to go and you have to say like read old version and adjust to new data if you have made any authorizations to the menu changes okay so so and in this authorizations tab you change all the authorizations and now you say generate the profile for the role this option generate this red and white circle okay so that you say generate okay so the new profile is generated for the changes you have made in the authorizations now assign users on the user tab page and compare users if necessary the users must already exist in the system before you can assign them now you are done with the menu changes you are done with the authorization changes now you say you go to users okay yeah you can add certain users or you can delete certain users like so for all these users this role is assigned to so after doing those changes you say user comparison okay so that that makes sure like this profile is adjusted for those users and the thing you have to make sure is whatever user id you are entering here okay these users first they should exist in the system before you go and uh, enter them in this pfcg okay so that that you have to make sure okay so in this changing and assigning role what we have learned you go to pfcg okay so to the particular role where you want to make changes okay so first you create a copy it to a new role name okay and that new role which you create they should start with c generally c all the sap uh, roles they come up with sap underscore okay whatever it is so these roles are delivered from sap they are the standard roles please don't do any changes to them don't touch them so you say copy all okay so then first in this you go to change okay so you the new role name will be check if you okay check like whatever role name you have entered is reflecting there okay so then first you go to this menu tab page okay you so in this menu tab page the user menu once the user logs on to the system that will be presented you can change it next you go to the important one the authorization tab and you say change authorization data so you adjust the authorizations and you generate a new profile okay and the other thing is like if you have made any user menu changes you have to go to this expert mode for profile generation and you have to say read old version and adjust your new data those that you have to do and the last one is users okay so you add or delete users who should have this role okay and you do a user comparison that's it okay so this this is a, you know a process for changing and assigning a role okay so uh, this is a short video about this activity changing and assigning a role in pfcg okay so now in the next videos we learn about the other types of activities which we can do in pfcg thank you